Welcome back everyone. Photonic AI chips are emerging as one of the most discussed approaches in computing research today. They differ from conventional semiconductor chips by using photons rather than electrons to transmit and process information. This video will explain how photonic chips operate, which companies and labs are leading development, and how they compare with traditional silicon chips. We will also examine real-world applications, current challenges and future pathways. Please subscribe now! The principle behind photonic chips begins with the replacement of copper or silicon interconnects with optical waveguides. In conventional microprocessors, electrons flow through transistors and wires, creating resistance and generating heat. In contrast, photonic chips use light pulses transmitted through nanometer scale waveguides etched into a substrate. These waveguides confine and direct photons along specific paths. The key advantage is that photons do not experience resistive heating in the same way electrons do. This allows higher bandwidth data transmission at lower energy cost per bit. Researchers at MIT have shown that optical interconnects can achieve data rates above 1 terabit per second with minimal energy loss. Switching and logic operations in photonic chips are achieved using modulators, resonators and non-linear optical materials. An optical modulator encodes data by altering the phase, amplitude or frequency of light as it passes through. Silicon photonics has advanced rapidly because silicon is transparent at telecommunication wavelengths and can be integrated with CMOS manufacturing lines. Ring resonators are used to filter and multiplex signals, enabling parallel data streams across different wavelengths. A single waveguide can carry dozens of channels through wavelength division multiplexing. This step-by-step -step combination of modulation, filtering and multiplexing allows a photonic chip to handle large volumes of data in parallel. Intel and IBM have both invested heavily in silicon photonics research. Intel has demonstrated on-chip lasers integrated with modulators and detectors, forming complete optical communication systems directly on the processor. IBM has published work in Nature Photonics describing photonic tensor cores that accelerate neural network operations by using light interference patterns. These tensor cores multiply and sum input vectors simultaneously, exploiting the inherent parallelism of optics. By contrast, traditional GPUs rely on thousands of electronic cores operating in parallel but constrained by memory bottlenecks. The optical approach offers a direct way to bypass bandwidth limitations. One notable startup in this field is Lightmatter, founded out of MIT. Lightmatter has created a photonic AI accelerator named Envise that performs matrix multiplication using arrays of Mach Zender interferometers. The interferometers split light beams into two paths, apply phase shifts proportional to data values, and then recombine them. The resulting interference pattern encodes multiplication results. Thousands of these units operate in parallel, performing linear algebra operations with very low latency. Microsoft announced in 2023 that it would test Lightmatter's photonic chips in its cloud data centers for AI model inference. Another company is Light Elegance, also originating from MIT research. Light Elegance demonstrated a system that uses photonic circuits to solve large-scale optimization problems. Their prototype device achieved speed-ups of more than 100 times compared to CPU-based methods for certain tasks. Unlike Light Matter, which focuses on neural networks, Light Elegance applies photonics to a broader range of algorithmic workloads. Both companies emphasize the reduction in power consumption compared to GPUs. According to IEE Spectrum, a photonic chip can perform trillions of multiply accumulate operations per second while consuming only a fraction of the energy of an NVIDIA A100 GPU. Global research is not confined to the United States. In China, Tsinghua University and Huawei have jointly announced pilot projects in integrated photonics for AI acceleration, with results published in IEEE Photonics Technology Letters. European labs such as IMEC in Belgium are also actively exploring integrated photonics platforms, with IMEC's 2024 report noting successful trials of photonic convolution engines. These international efforts highlight that photonic computing is a global race with different regions focusing on complementary strengths such as materials, packaging and software integration.
Researchers at the University of Oxford and the Max Planck Institute have taken a different approach by combining photonic circuits with emerging materials such as phase change compounds. These materials, like germanium antimony telluride, switch between amorphous and crystalline states under controlled light pulses, their optical properties change accordingly, allowing them to store weights for neural networks directly on chip. This creates non-volatile photonic memory. In experiments published in Science Advances, researchers use these materials to implement synapse-like behavior, moving closer to neuromorphic architectures built entirely with light. The fabrication of photonic chips requires different methods compared to standard CMOS wafers. While they can use existing semiconductor foundries, precise etching of waveguides and deposition of optical materials is critical. Coupling light into and out of chips is also a challenge. Grating couplers or edge coupling techniques are used to connect optical fibers to the chip surface. Maintaining low insertion loss is necessary for scalable systems. Global Foundries and Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, or TSMC, have developed photonics platforms that allow commercial customers to design optical circuits using the same design tools as for electronic chips. The European Commission has funded multiple projects under its Horizon Europe program to advance silicon photonics. One example is the Phoenix Initiative which focuses on integrating photonic accelerators into high-performance computing systems. The aim is to demonstrate exascale supercomputing nodes with reduced energy budgets by the year 2026. Similarly, Japan's Ministry of Communications is supporting joint projects between universities and industry partners like NTT and Fujitsu to explore photonic interconnects for data centers. These government programs illustrate that photonic AI chips are not limited to startups but are part of national research strategies. To understand how photonic AI chips compare with existing GPUs, it's useful to examine, step by step, the process of training a neural network. Training involves repeated matrix multiplications between weight matrices and input vectors, followed by non-linear activation functions. Now, GPUs accelerate this through thousands of parallel cores executing floating-point operations. Photonic chips, however, represent the weights as phase shifts in interferometers. Multiplication occurs naturally through optical interference and summation is achieved by combining light intensities at detectors. The non-linear activation is still typically done electronically. This hybrid model is why current photonic chips are accelerators rather than full replacements for GPUs. One case study here is the collaboration between NVIDIA and IR Labs. IR Labs specializes in optical I.O. technology, essentially replacing electrical transceivers with photonic connections. In 2022, NVIDIA integrated IR's optical links into its GPUs to demonstrate data transfer rates above 25 terabits per second between processors. This experiment highlights a transitional step where photonics is first applied to interconnect bottlenecks rather than computation itself. As interconnects consume a growing fraction of data center energy, moving to optical links represents a pragmatic deployment of photonics. Cryogenic cooling is another area where photonic chips show a clear advantage. While superconducting electronics require extreme cooling, photonic chips can operate at room temperature for most functions. However, detectors based on certain materials may benefit from lower temperatures to reduce noise. Researchers at Caltech are investigating hybrid systems where superconducting nanowire detectors are integrated with optical circuits to achieve single photon sensitivity. Such detectors could be useful in quantum machine learning where both classical and quantum photonic signals need to be processed. Quantum photonics is related but distinct. Companies like Xanadu in Canada and Psi Quantum in the United States are pursuing quantum computing using photonic qubits. While these systems differ from classical photonic AI accelerators, there is some overlap in fabrication techniques and optical component design. Advances in integrated photonics for AI could spill over into quantum circuits and vice versa. For example, the use of low-loss waveguides and stable interferometers benefits both domains. Publications in Nature Nanotechnology have reported cross-fertilization between classical and quantum photonics groups. A limitation of photonic AI chips is their reliance on electro-optic conversion. 
Input data is typically electronic and must be converted into light signals using modulators. After computation, results must be converted back into electronic form for storage or further processing. Each conversion introduces latency and energy cost. Companies are working on more efficient modulators and detectors to minimize these losses. Light Matter has introduced a technology called Passage which acts as a photonic interconnect between multiple accelerators reducing the need for repeated conversions by keeping data in the optical domain for longer periods. Scaling photonic chips to mass production also faces obstacles. Unlike electronic transistors which can be shrunk following Moore's law, optical components have physical size constraints determined by the wavelength of light. This limits the density of photonic circuits. Techniques like wavelength division multiplexing partly overcome this, but density will not match that of transistors. Therefore, hybrid architectures that combine photonics for linear algebra with electronics for control and memory are expected. Researchers at ETH Zurich suggest that the optimal design may involve photonic cores embedded within traditional silicon systems. Another factor is fabrication cost. Current photonic prototypes require specialized equipment for precise alignment of lasers, modulators, and detectors. Yields are lower than for standard CMOS wafers, which raises unit costs. Industry analysts note that photonic wafers can cost several times more per square centimeter compared to standard semiconductor wafers. Large corporations like Intel and TSMC are working to drive down cost by adapting photonic designs to existing lithography tools. Until those adjustments mature, widespread consumer deployment remains unlikely, even though data center adoption may justify higher costs in the near term. Despite challenges, the near-term applications are promising. Data centers operated by companies like Google and Microsoft face growing energy costs from AI workloads. Deploying photonic accelerators for inference tasks could lower operating expenses significantly. For example, a photonic inference engine could answer large language model queries with lower latency and reduced power draw. Inference is often more predictable and repetitive than training, making it suitable for early adoption. Industry analysts expect limited commercial deployment of photonic accelerators in cloud environments by 2026. In the medium term, by the late 2020s, integration of photonic chips into high-performance computing clusters may become more widespread. Supercomputers funded by the United States Department of Energy are already exploring hybrid optical interconnects. If successful, this could shift system architecture toward optical backplanes and reduce the need for traditional copper cabling. This would not only improve performance, but also simplify cooling infrastructure. Reports from IEE conferences indicate that prototypes are being tested in national labs to validate reliability under sustained workloads. In the longer term, photonic AI chips may influence consumer electronics. While data centers and supercomputers are the first beneficiaries, improvements in manufacturing could bring photonics into laptops or edge devices. For instance, optical accelerators could enable on-device AI without the thermal constraints that plague current mobile processors. However, this remains speculative until cost and integration challenges are addressed. The trajectory is similar to GPUs, which began in specialized workstations before entering mainstream consumer devices. Researchers continue to refine the fundamental science of photonics. Advances in materials such as lithium niobate on insulator are enabling high-performance modulators with low-drive voltages. Integration of 3-5 semiconductors with silicon is providing efficient on-chip lasers. These incremental steps are essential for practical deployment. Journals such as Optica and Applied Physics Letters regularly publish updates on progress in these areas. Each advancement brings photonic AI chips closer to commercial viability. To summarize, photonic AI chips represent a shift in how computation and data movement can be handled. By using light instead of electrons, they reduce energy losses, increase bandwidth, and exploit parallelism. Companies like Intel, IBM, Light Matter, Light Elegance, and IR Labs are at the forefront, supported by research from universities such as MIT, Oxford, and ETH Zurich, along with government programs in the United States, Europe, and Japan. While challenges remain in scaling, integration, and cost, 
The trajectory suggests practical deployments in specialized domains before the decade ends. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.